Greetings, little one. They might not all be broomstick riding hags, but each has a magic touch. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 movie witches. For this list, we're only focusing on female witches, both good and bad. Even if they're not formally labeled as a witch, any character that makes use of magic and sorcery is considered fair game. What makes you think she is a witch? Well, she turned me into a newt! A newt. We got better. Number 10. The Sanderson Sisters, Hocus Pocus. Kicking off our list is the inseparable sisterly trio that's out to regain their youth by pilfering it from children. Because, you great buffoon, we want to live forever, not just until tomorrow. With Bette Midler's electrifying Winifred, Kathy and Jimmy's child-sniffing Mary, and Sarah Jessica Parker's hypnotic Sarah, this coven of witches' hilarious antics will easily put a spell on you. Why, why, why was I cursed with such idiot sisters? <laughs> Just lucky, I guess. <laughs> Number 9. The White Witch, The Chronicles of Narnia This ice-cold witch is straight out of literature. After causing a hundred-year winter in Narnia, she rules the land with an iron fist as self-proclaimed queen. Ruthless and calculating, she turns her opposition into statues, can also conjure almost anything, and wields a blade to help in her quest to eliminate the likes of Father Christmas and the allegory Jesus Lion. You are giving me your life and saving no one. <laughs> so much for love. Number 8. Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins. Close your mouth, please, Michael. We are not a codfish. The world's best nanny has the most memorable magical catchphrase ever. Super califragilistic, expialidocious, even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. Famous for flying around with a bottomless bag and an umbrella instead of a broom, she proves that magic isn't all bad. With powers like a strong connection with nature, a positive aura, and the ability to enter cartoon worlds, she's practically perfect in every way. Not just easy on the eyes, but easy on the ears as well. Come feed the little bird, show them you care, and you'll be glad if you do. Number 7. Nancy Downs, The Craft She's just a gothic teen looking to recruit a new member to complete her coven. Okay, not exactly. She's a ruthless witch who's out for even more power. Nancy uses her supernatural abilities to get what she wants, and uses her powers of levitation, telekinesis, weather and mind manipulation to terrorize others. Basically, you don't want to get on her bad side. Gotcha. Ah! <laughs> God, if I was as pathetic as you are, I would have killed myself ages ago. You should get on with it. Number 6. Alexandra, Jane, and Suki, The Witches of Eastwick Portrayed by Cher, Susan Sarandon, and Michelle Pfeiffer, these three witches discover their magical powers and unite to form a coven. After each is seduced by the devil, they use their magic to regain their freedom. These witches are iconic for serving as an allegory of single and sexually repressed women who must gather their inner strength to fight back at the man, although here it's done with voodoo. <laughs> Number 5. Eva Ernst, aka the Grand High Witch, The Witches As the head of a worldwide coven that enforces child-killing quotas stemming from her hatred of the way they smell, Miss Eva hides her true grotesque appearance under fake skin, gloves, and a wig. Just as nasty on the inside as she is on the outside, she specializes in turning children into other forms that are easier to eliminate. And she can burn others with beams from her eyes. Look, the devil. <laughs> Number 4. Bellatrix Lestrange, The Harry Potter Series 
This crazy, full-blooded witch, played by Helena Bonham Carter, is the most loyal member of Lord Voldemort's Death Eaters. After escaping from her imprisonment at the magical prison of Azkaban, she causes hardship with her unpredictable, sadistic, and deadly nature. Are you mad? She never thinks twice about casting the unforgivable curses and has personally murdered witches, wizards, and muggles as well. <laughs> Number 3. Hermione Granger, the Harry Potter series This half-blood witch is the complete opposite of Bellatrix. A model student at Hogwarts and a member of Gryffindor House, Hermione is brilliant, feisty, and exceptionally talented. But like her friends Harry Potter and Ron Weasley, she often acts rashly without second thought. The first at her level to master spells, Hermione soon showed a talent for fighting duels, which she uses to battle those who practice the dark arts. <laughs> Number 2. Maleficent, Sleeping Beauty You poor simple fools, thinking you could defeat me, me, the mistress of all evil! The mistress of evil, this powerful witch, or if you want to get really picky, dark fairy, commands an army of monsters. The darkest Disney villain ever, she seeks to kill the kingdom's princess before her 16th birthday purely out of spite. With her powers conjured directly from hell, she makes good on her name by wielding lightning, teleportation, and the ability to transform into a dragon. Now shall you deal with me, O oh prince and all the powers of hell! <laughs> Number 1. The Wicked Witch of the West, The Wizard of Oz Taking the top spot on our list is the green-skinned menace with a shoe fetish. Thanks to her cackling voice, love of dramatics, and inability to take baths without melting, oh, my world, my world. she is the most iconic witch of them all. It's easy to see why she's the polar opposite of the bubble-riding do-gooder Glinda, as she spouts threats from her broomstick and enslaves an army of flying monkeys and cookie-craving Winkies. Do you agree with our list? Oh, rubbish! You have no power here! They're gone! Which movie witch gets your potion bubbling? For more entertaining top 10s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Girls, watch out for those weirdos. <laughs> we are the weirdos, mister.